We were probably the loudest group there, and I guess us being New Yorkers, that's only natural. And the mass is so upbeat and so moving. It definitely helped the spirit of the week. We didn't expect to eat with the bishop at all. They allowed us a lot of free time throughout Sydney, throughout our time spent there, and we definitely took advantage of it. We, we went to all different types of stores. We went to actually a comic book store that was in Sydney, and we saw some Sydney comics, and we also went to Hungry Jack's when we, when we wanted our fast food. But um, just walking through the streets during our free time, we got to understand the culture and we got to understand the people and how they lived. Other other free time we went we went to the wildlife center, we went to the aquarium, we got to go to the zoo. There was a schism in the group where half of us wanted to go back to see a kangaroo because at the zoo we went to there was only a wallaroo. And I'm really disappointed. I want to see a kangaroo. Wallaroos are cool, but I decided I'm going to give up the kangaroo and I'm going to go see the Sydney Opera House. It's definitely worth it. I was amazed not only at the outside, but the inside of the Opera House. The theater just called me. I was so happy to see it, and so happy that I can say I've seen one of the most beautiful theaters in the world. It was a nice area. They had nice streets, like almost like cobblestone, some of it. But it's just, it's just like everywhere else, there's McDonald's, and there's like Wendy's and we w actually went to they they had like a shopping center and their shop their shopping mall was like incredible like it was huge and it was like two sides and it had like all these like magnificent like lighting and it just looked so like the inside was so fancy it had like chandeliers and like beautiful like banisters it's like how much money does the city have that this is their shopping center just having a good time we got to get away for a second we just uh met girls, met people, met everyone, and uh, it was just a good time in the city, just running around, being outside, so. We went back to Barangaroo and to uh, see the Pope coming and he was going to arrive by boat. Going back to Barangaroo to see the Pope was quite an interesting trip. We got many responses from the people of Sydney. Um, 
there were people who came up to us and said, you're doing a great thing, you know, you're in Australia, you're representing your country in uh, World Youth Day, you're showing that you're Catholic, you're standing up to people. USA! USA! First of all, like it was a pretty, pretty long walk, like, and we were with a lot of people with all different nations. And my group, uh, Brooklyn Queens, we um, we did chants and like all the stuff. We did like American chants and songs and stuff like that. So walking to Parang Roof, you're with all these different groups and all these different people, and everybody shouting and cheering and like. You know, you're all kind of there for the same reason. So it's like you're walking and you're trying to have your own experience, but at the same time you realize, well, they're having the same experience that I'm having. So it's like, like they always say, it's best to, to worship in the community. Well, it's like you're worshiping with a community from people from around the world. So it's like, it's like taking the entire church and just, it's like, it's like the it's like the world community of the church, just all at one place, all at one time. They loved us. They embraced us. They let us in with their chants of Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. It was wonderful. Every time we went out, they asked us what. What would you like, mate? And we just laughed at them because, because in New York, nobody says mate. The energy is great. Everybody got pins. We had um, pins that said Brooklyn. We had 9-11 pins, and we had pins of like our diocese pins. We had Mary pins. And at first, I wasn't exactly sure what the pins were for, and I later found out. See, with the pins, you trade them with other countries. You trade them for other pins, for wristbands, anything, anything you could get. When either when we were walking somewhere and we would just see someone on the street, or especially when we went to the racetrack, we all kind of like separated into groups and walked around the racetrack and just met people from all over the world and some people had like stuffed animal keychains from where they were from a lot of people had pins I got a couple I had keychains and then I had some stuffed animals or little flags and it's basically you traded your pin for whatever they would have had so they had something from New York and you had something from where they were from and it's just a way of sh like showing unity it's look I, I met somebody from X country and I have their pin. It actually it was really nice to go around and trade with people. It was kind of funny because it ended up being like we try to stake out you know who the people were before we asked them because we didn't want duplicate pins and we had a limited supply. I don't want you know two Italy pins or you know two Hong Kong keychains. Everyone wants to get a New York pin. That's how I feel about it. And so I feel like my pin is kind of like top on the market <laughs> and I know I want to trade it for something good. So I'm picking places that I want to pin back but a lot of places are giving like kangaroos, um, or uh, paper flags. I, you know, I want to pin back. If I'm giving away my Statue of Liberty, I, I'm going to want a Chinese dragon or something. So people are trying to get me to haggle for another kangaroo. It's like, I have three kangaroos right now. What do I need another kangaroo for? But, you know, the spirit moved me. I traded for kangaroos. We were at, like, the way back of Barangaroo at, like, the like almost at the end of the end of World Youth Day. And, uh, but we learned that the Pope would be passing right in front of us. And so we all like camped out by like these fences to get good seats. 
but the main purpose of us being there was to share this with Pope Benedict and to meet him and to listen to what he had to say to the youth of the world. Probably the coolest part about it is, was if you looked to the left or the right of you, you heard two different languages. It was awesome, and yet everybody was walking and marching together to the same place. Can't wait till it comes here, man. Try and trade some yeah. pins with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try and trade some of my pins for some of this stuff. Now let's see what I get out of it. Get some cross. Maybe it's a pole mobile. I don't know. <laughs> During the mass, do people allowed to sit here? No, this is the walkway. They shouldn't even be standing there. And it's not even the pole. The pole's over there. It's a madhouse. Yeah, we're just waiting. If we see him, <laughs> we will see him. Don't worry, Pete. <laughs> We're gonna see him. I've right seen so many flags that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, yeah. really. Like like a bunch country. of bunch. <laughs> yeah, like that you know, I know that. It's like a surprise. The history lesson. I mean, I don't know what's wrong. Apparently, not, we I'm just really settled down where the entrance is, <laughs> and we just moved already. Sorry. They think that it's the Pope is gonna come Benedict either from here or from there. But once we get over here, they're telling us this is an opening and we can't be here. We're over there and the Pope's not coming that way. I feel like we're going to lose seats and we're not going to be able to get a good one. We're not going to see anything at all. Yeah. I know that. You can see like this. Everything. Huh? Oh, we looked at the, the bridge flag and then the helicopters and they're like really up close. So you can see really good with them. Uh, we're moving closer to the walkway, I think. So there's that package that like already there or something. So we had to move out of their spot. So as the Pope arrives on like his giant boat with on like close to the water that we were able to see the Pope, we took pictures of that. Let us pray. And then uh, the Pope came and he said, Welcome to World Youth Day. And he said a little prayer for us. Oh God, you have called men and women of every land to be a holy nation, a royal priesthood, the church of your dear son. Unite us in mutual love across the barriers of race and culture and strengthen us in our common task of being Christ and showing Christ to the world he came to save. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. His words definitely meant something, and we felt it, the impact. So when the Pope's on stage, I'm, I'm in total awe. It, the Pope, the Holy Father, the Holy Father, the, the single representation of your entire faith is standing there. As you could see him, you could, you hear him, like he's not, this is not a TV screen you're watching, it's him in person, it's, it's something that I, I'd hope everybody would be able to experience. And then he hopped in his Pope mobile. It's kind of like the Batmobile, but it's even cooler than the Batmobile. There was a, a walkway, which is where we thought Pope Benedict was gonna walk through, and they had left a security space that was supposed to be cleared. So when people came to stand, um, in what was supposed to be a clearing, we figured, let's stay here. They had told us that everybody who was there was gonna have to be moved. 
As it turns out, Pope Benedict got there and they didn't move them at all. This is why we came to Australia. We're about to see the Pope in like a minute and a half. But, but nobody at the field knew the direct route he was going to take to leave. I have a one piece file, Gerard. He had an inside tip that, w that he knew where he was leaving from and the path he was taking. So he set us up to where to look for him. He came literally probably about five feet in front of our whole group. It was just a wonderful experience. Um, I was actually right on the fence because I met some, we met some French guys some girls and we the Pope wasn't there he was all some other up way so we were just we were talking to them and then Pope's coming and I'm on the fence I saw him like right there he was in his Pope mobile but I was about 10 feet away from him as the Pope got closer everyone in the crowd started to go Benedicto and so we all just started to scream that over and over Benedicto. Everybody had come running, like trying to follow him to where he was, but we were the first ones. We were right at the railing, literally five feet away from the Pope Mobile where he was sitting. And he waved to us, and that, that was absolutely incredible and very worth the wait. So when I'm there and I'm seeing the Pope for the first time, I don't, I don't know if I've ever felt more secure about my faith in my life. Just seeing his face, like I've never seen somebody so happy before in my life. Like, he, he was constant smiles, the way he waved, like, like you hung on every word that he said. When he finally saw him, there was a giant eruption from the crowd of like rejoicing. It was just extreme happiness and giant anticipation for the Pope and when he finally arrived, it was just a giant celebration. I remember that, I, I still remember that feeling of jumping over each other, especially when we first got there, we, we were there about three hours early. So one of, one of our chaperones sort of knew where he was entering, so he said, this is where he's gonna be. And then we saw him go in a different direction. It, it, it was very disappointing. But then once he went in that direction, he came back around, and he was within 10 feet of us. And we were all screaming, we were jumping on each other, we were waving at him. And just to actually see him, and he was smiling, just you know, going back and forth, looking at people, that feeling was very complete. It realized, we realized why we were there. Every time I came by the side, I, guess. I got a great shot like this. It was awesome. He I was, was crying. Right hey, it was amazing. Right we were up on garbage cans. We were right front row. It was so crazy. He almost fell. He blessed yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He was, he was like this. I, I followed you around. Okay. I think it was awesome because I was right next to the gate, like right at the rail. Literally, I was the first person right there in the row. you? Yeah, we almost not, didn't get to see him, so, you know, we really yeah, pulled through and it was good. It was amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing. I was taking pictures and my memory went full. Oh, so I was like, horrible. I'm just gonna memorize this. And I was watching, I was like, photographic memory. I better have it right now. I mean, I don't understand how we got so I lucky we were right there. I made eye with the ball. We, we could have fell onto contact. the ball mobile. That's how close we <laughs> were. It was, a, it was, oh, it was I had a, I felt like you were so big. Yeah, right? We were just bigger than life. It was big. Big. It worked out. Like, you guys were, like, It worked out there, amazing. And then I, we had a fight over there just to get over to see, like, through rows, and now we're it was in front crazy, of it. We were, like, standing front, front row, like, front row. I could have touched him. It works in mysterious ways. Yes, that, it does. That's true, that's true. Did you, and the sunrise? I mean, I contacted with him. I contacted him. I'm just going to keep on saying that. I was speechless. I didn't even wave back. I feel bad. I he looked to our side, but he didn't wave. Like, he looked. I was taking the picture and he turned and waved to the other side, so I was like, turning like this. Yeah. I was like, ah! Oh. 
But you know what? Him being there is so close. Uh, it's exactly. It doesn't even matter that so he did. Cool. It doesn't even matter. I didn't think we were gonna see him to be honest. Right? I know. Right? We just I was got telling so lucky. I'm getting on your back. I'm getting on your back. <laughs> I just hope our luck continues, and on Saturday we're anywhere near that close. It's like right there. Like I almost like us. touched him. Like between us. Like right there. Like how you doing? Oh, 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 I'm gonna record you both. That that oh. feeling was amazing because it finally proved the purpose of why we were there. We saw the Pope, we saw everyone, all the other countries there representing World Youth Day, and just the feeling was complete because we saw Pope Benedict, we saw who he was.